Hi everybody, welcome back to Shelf Star Stitches. I hope you're all okay and I've had a good week, past week and weekend. Um, I'm a little bit late coming back to you. Um, yeah, because I had a couple of days where I was out and about, so didn't get much time. Well, all three days. Um, so yeah, you getting a Monday video instead. Um, yeah, so I've had a couple of deliveries that I've got to show you. Um, one of them will be Toft Dolls Club Spoiler, so I'll save that right till the end. So if you haven't had yours yet and you don't want to know, you can disappear off um, without missing anything. Um, I popped into Chichester to meet one of my crochet friends, uh, Claire. I've got two crochet friends called Claire, one with an eye, one without an eye. This is the Claire with an eye. Um, so yeah, we went to Chichester and uh, we found our lovely independent yarn shop again and went in there. Um, I made one purchase, Claire made none, then we went back, Claire made one and I made another. So I blame her entirely for my second purchase. Um, so yeah, so actually I will start with that and then I've also got an um, update on my crochet along with Toft. So yes, yeah, so the yarn shop is called, I think it's actually called We Are Yarn, but from the outside it looks like it's just called Yarn! Exclamation mark, um, which you will see on the hand when I show you that. Um, so I made two hand eye purchases, they dye their own, and then I made two, as we call it, bog standard purchases. So the first one I purchased was, I bought this uh, Knit Pro Mindful, because um, I like their Mindful collection, row counter. Now I have electronic ones, I do have electronic ones, um, but I saw this and I really quite liked it and it's a manual one. I've got I have a Toft manual one, but that's quite large. I feel like that to me is like a nightclub ticker. Like when they, tick, you know, count how many people they've got in a nightclub and stop when they've got too many people in. Um, so this is the, can you see that? So it's just the mindful design on both sides. So you've got a dial on each side here and here, where my two fingers are. Um, what to, to reset each of the sides. Um, and then you've got your push button on the top. So if I push and go up, you see the dial moving here. And when we get up to 10, they both go over. And then you just scroll to move them up. I think you have to go all the way around. You don't can't go back on yourself, I've worked out. Um, nine, zero, there we go, to reset. Although this one does go back, weirdly. I don't know if it's meant to, whether I've got a broken one and it's not meant to go back, but this other side doesn't go back. I don't want to force it. Um, yeah, so that was, look on the label, £6.25, so I got that. I did purchase myself because I have been told these are good hooks, um, but if it's not, it's all good. Holly's already ironed it up and said she'll have it off me if not. I have bought a Clover Armour, Armour, Armour? crochet hook um, to try. So I bought three mil, which is what Toft uh, patterns are all in. Um, so I have purchased that. Um, I haven't actually taken it out of the packet to have a look, see what it feels like, let me open. Um, Cause apparently these are quite nice. Oh, oh, okay. So it's flat on one side and domed on the bottom. I mean, it feels nice. I just need to try it out, I guess. Um, so yeah, try that, because I use the Tulip Etimos now, which I swapped to from Knit Pro Waves, which is what Toft hooks are. Um, so we'll try this. So this was only £6. Um, I don't know if that's reasonable or not. Holly, you can tell me, because you like to buy those ones, if £6 is reasonable. I think my Tulip Etimo, I think I pay about £9. Oh, well, I don't pay £9. I buy them on Wool Warehouse, and I think I get them for about 7 or £8. Um, but I think they get upwards of like nine pounds, but that was six pounds. Then the first hand I, I purchased, because I was trying to connect to my knit and note app to see what I purchased from them last time to make sure I didn't double up. And I didn't, I was good. So this is my first one that I purchased called Lavender Haze, if you see that. So there's all the colors. It's a really nice colorway. Uh, it's DK and it's 100% superwash merino. And um, that's like the shop but it's called We Are Yarn, if you look them up. They do do online as well, so you can order from them online. Um, so if you're not local to Sussex, um, you can go and find them that way. So that's that one. So yeah, Lavender Haze. 
And then I also purchased this one called Sorbet, which is really nice. Uh, again, Superwash Merino DK. Um, yeah, Sorbet. There we go. So those are the two hand dye skeins I purchased. Um, we then found a little haberdashery shop up the road, which is a bit like, I want to say, what's the shop in town called? Uh, like the fabric shop, not the fabric shop. Oh, I can't remember the name of it, but there's one in Brighton. No, we used to get our fabric from, I can't remember. Um, anyway, it does everything. It did fabric, haberdashery, all sorts. And they did have yarn and I did purchase this one I liked the look of. You know, it's a King Cole, and it's called Fjord, uh, Fair Isle Effect, and it's a self-patterning yarn. Um, so it's very, very soft, it's DK, um, it's fluffy. And as uh, my friend Claire without an eye um, has just said on a text message, it's very festive. That's because it's called festive. <laughs> they had all different colours. They had like uh, lilacs, pinks, etc. So non-festive, if you want to call them that. Um, but I picked that one up because it looks Christmassy. So I think I'm going to try a pair of socks to start with and see how the self pattern comes up. Um, which will be interesting because if I use half of it and then use half for another sock, I might end up with two odd socks, but in the same colourway. We'll see. So yeah, that was £5.50. Um, possibly cheaper online, but I, I saw it and I've never seen something like that. So I thought we'd get, get that. Oh, the hand dies from We Are Yarn are £19 each, just to let you know. Right, I will show you my crochet along now so you can see how we've got on with that before I go into deliveries. Um, I did steam ahead with Toff's crochet along for Graham the Octopus, so I did finish him like two days before. Um, that's because like for two days I sat with him debating on eyes. Um, I did pick some dark side eyes. I already had some. I've got 10 pairs of dark side eyes that I purchased ages ago, but I've just never used. So I fancied doing dark side eyes for my octopus. Um, so yeah, so I keep, you can see like, look, the corner of the yarn in there. It's really like down there. <laughs> I'm trying to get out of the corner, but then the next one comes back in again. There we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is my Graham the Octopus all finished with the dark side eyes. If I get it close enough, hopefully you can see this sort of yellowy tinged. Um, Alex picked the eyes because he also picked the main yarn. So there we go. So the main yarn is by Miss B's March Mystery in DK. Um, so that was before she stopped dying. Um, so that is the main top colour. I'll show you. Try and show you that way. And then, so I've still already got my hair all over it, a malt everywhere. Um, the contrast colour is, um, I picked Chiron's Crafts Rainbow Fish, which is, this was leftover that I had. Um, so this was um, yarn scraps for the underneath. So I actually picked two hand dyes in the end. Um, I just hadn't picked a contrast colour when I started and I kind of, I didn't want anything plain. So I've gone for hand dye on hand dye. So I think it's come out pretty cool. Um, and I think the colours go pretty well together because when you see them from the top, you can just sort of see a smattering of the the bright, sort of, well, they're not bright, but pastel neon colours. And then underneath it's like, wow. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed Graham because actually he wasn't one I'd probably pick up and make. Um, I do remember stories from people about tentacles and turning the tentacles and I was like, oh God. Um, and yeah, I think I didn't like his... I didn't like his eyes, but I didn't like this sort of style of his eyes sewn on, but actually where I've put the dark side ones on, hopefully they're in about the right place. Um, and if you've seen my Instagram, you'll also, well, you may not have seen, also works quite well as a hat. <laughs> It'll sit on your head quite nicely. Um, so yeah, I didn't stuff the eyes in the end because of the size of these dark side eyes and the uh, back for them, it is literally just the eye. Um, which is helping it stick out. So there's no stuffing in those in the end. Um, yeah, that is Graham the octopus. And he does sort of, his tentacles do sort of stick out in a in that sort of way. So yeah, pleased with that. Right, he can sit there. We don't mind him being in the corner there. Um, just his head, just the top of him. Deliveries. Okay, so 
I purchased, as I like to say, um, from Etsy, from somebody I purchased from before. So it's Candy Skull Crafts, um, who do lots of um, accessories, uh, stash bags, project bags. I think she does uh, like needle toppers and things for knitting needles. Um, yeah, so I purchased some more project bags. Not that I need any more project bags. Um, I actually bought a Notions pouch and a project bag. And this was because I saw on um, her Instagram, I'm really, I keep saying her and I don't know the lady's name. Let me check and see if it says on Etsy. But sometimes it tells you who they are. Let me look. Candy Skull Craft. Kitty. Apologies, Kitty, if you're watching this. Kitty um, makes all of the items. So you can see on her shop, she has, I'm going to show you, yeah. So she's got stitch markers, needle stitch stoppers, progress keepers, handmade labels, pin badges, DPN cozies. I'm assuming that's a knitting thing. Knitting patterns, notion pouches, crochet hooks, knitting cords, gift sets, and cable needles. Um, let me see if I can get the main page up about. It's got a code on mine, so I'm just trying to hide the code because I'm not sure if that's applicable to anyone else. So let me see if I can hide that. So that's Kitty there. Let me see if I can get the actual, I don't think I can get the actual shop up, which is not helpful. It's very annoying. No, I don't know how to do that. I'm a bit useless with, here we go. I'm gonna hide my code just in case because I don't want poor Kitty to end up with people with loads of discount because I've purchased before. So I think that's why. Um, so there you go, Candy Skull Crafts. Um, I will put a link in below. Um, yeah, so anyway, waffling on. Saw this on Kitty's Instagram and this one, now I don't eat mushrooms, um, I'm averse to fungus, <laughs> I always go oh why would anyone want to eat fungus, um, but I loved this, um, the colourway of it now, but also it's glow in the dark, so the fabric is glow in the dark, so I think all these light areas around the mushrooms all glow in the dark. Um, there is a picture on Kitty's Instagram, so if you go and have a look it shows it in the dark. So, I, yeah, love that. I'm a, I'm a sucker for anything glow in the dark. And then it's just, it's a spotty lining inside. Um, it came with the scissor uh, attachment and then she sent me a little mushroom um, stitch marker as well as placekeeper. So I attached that to the zip. So that was my little Notions pouch there, all handmade. And then we have this one. Again, I think this is mushrooms. Mushrooms and turtles and anemones. So I didn't realise there are actually turtles here. And what I assume is anemones and... But these look like mushrooms to me. Um, so this is my uh, project bag. So it comes with a handle on the side. And this comes with an octopus uh, zipper puller. A uh, little handmade logo, label. Um, yeah. So that is the project bag. And again, I think it's lined in the same lining actually. The dotty. And these do have, I hate the word, a gusset. So they do fold out in the bottom. So they are um, a square based bag, but they're just nicely folded when they arrive. Um, and yeah, and if you do purchase from Kitty and her shop, you get like repeat return, like 10% off codes, etc. I don't know if that's something Kitty does herself or uh, if Etsy does it. Um, but yeah, so they're always such lovely materials really well made so check her out I will put the link below I'm gonna have a cup of tea well some of my tea I'm getting like noisy getting like smacked lips sorry bear with stay with me as well sorry I thought you'd rather I get on with a video than worry about the state of me that's better it was going cold my tea was going cold right I think that's it that is it so i'm going to show you toft dolls club subscription 
This is the latest one that came out very end of last week. It's just arrived today. If you haven't seen spoilers um, and you don't want to know, I would make your exit now because um, I'm about to show you what's inside and who we're going to be making. So thank you for watching if you are disappearing. Um, yeah, spoilers. Final warning, Dolls Club. Right, we have a box. It has arrived. I'm surprised it actually came today. I got my dispatch email on Friday um, and things have been taking a little while to work through Royal at the moment. I don't know if it's just my local area. Um, but then I had something to turn up for the car today um, that wasn't due till tomorrow and now it's arrived today. So, uh, right, I'm gonna hide that for a minute. Uh, so this is the color of the bag, which we actually saw on Instagram. That was the color. Um, cause I remember messaging Holly going, I think we're getting pink. <laughs> cause the color of the bag tends to match the sort of main color of the make. I have noticed. Um, right, I'm gonna try and, I've already opened this. So I'm gonna try and open it so that you don't see who we're making. And if I hold it that way, hopefully you won't. So we have in here color white. Well, I'll hold this up. We've got, I don't know if you can, you probably can't see that. Two little, Goldy sort of rings there, if you can see that. Um, we have two balls of fudge. I'm gonna try and get this out and then put this back in without it all getting messed up. We have three balls of magenta. They all go in the top row, remember that. We have, I'm gonna take these ones out and put them back in, one ball of steel. We have, oh no, we have a ball of charcoal and a ball of black. My black is already escaping. I get annoyed when, oh no, that's just a separate thread. Okay. Not really sure if I meant to have that. Uh, then we have uh, pink, normal pink, and cream. So we have five. 10 balls, which is 250 grams of yarn. I don't know if that's how much we normally get. I don't normally check, to be fair. Because I've still, the only dolls club I've made so far is uh, Beatrix Potter. So I really need to make some more. Sorry, I'm trying to get this back in now. So you're gonna get the rustling. Right, let's get that first row in and then I'll sort it out once we finish the video. Right, are you ready? This is who we are going to be making. That tells you nothing, but this is the project. You can see that, try and keep the light off of it. This is our Ed's Doll Club, Ed's Dolls Club, um, for this quarter. And we are making Maya Angelou. Now I have heard of her, I feel like I've heard of her via a TV programme or a film as a reference. I didn't know what she did. Um, I thought she was a singer, um, and she was as well. Um, nightclub singer, it says. But, um, so let's just say, um, she was an author, poet, historian, songwriter, playwright, dancer, director, performer, and civil rights activist. And she was best known for her seven autobiographical books. And in 2011, President Obama awarded her the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Um, so I had heard of her, uh, Maya Angelou. Uh, oh, fun, funny enough, she was, she died in Winston Salem, North Carolina. I don't think that's the Salem. No, Salem for the witch trials is in Massachusetts. Mm. Um, yeah. So born in 1928, died in 2014. Uh, but yeah, that is who we are going to be making. So very pink. She's a nice little suit outfit there um she does actually have if you can see there like a little scarf um headdress on which will be nice to make um i have already got the pattern that's already come to my toft area so i think she might actually be the next one i make to be fair because i quite like that and there's without being funny there's less to her so hopefully quicker to make up um some of the others have had slightly more complex um elements but Saying that, I haven't actually read the pattern. So they could be. Um, and I'm guessing these are her earrings in here, but I haven't opened, so let's have, let's have a little Scooby. I'm guessing earrings. They look a bit like um, 
just gold um, key rings. So they might just be like what we we have on the yeah they are. So they are just um, gold. So I guess what we would normally oh sorry I wore the iPad there. Guess what we'd normally have on a centralizer keeper. So they are to be used as her earrings. Why not? If it works, it works. Um, yeah, so I might make her possibly next. I've still got like Flora Society and all sorts to do. Um, I'm guessing this is eye thread, so I'm not going to lose that. Although we have got black in this kit. I might pop it in here. I've got plenty to be getting on with. I've got fennel from last year to finish, as in start and finish. Then I've got all of summer's uh, Flora Society. I still need to finish Darwin. I'm making a present at the moment, so that's why I can't show you what I'm making. Um, yeah, so um, too many projects, not enough time. Hey ho. Um, right, I think I'm going to love you and leave you because I have waffled on for over 20 minutes for you. I'm sure you're thrilled. Um, yeah, so hopefully um, that was enjoyable for you. Um, sorry if it wasn't. <laughs> Um, I just was conscious I hadn't done a video for you so hopefully sort of the end of the week and at the weekend I might have some uh, progress for you. I am going to uh, Carry On Crafting Festival at the weekend so that is down um, at Ardingly, um, just a little bit of a way from me, about an hour. Um, I actually won tickets um, via Beth who I did my Potter's Wheel um, session with that I think I mentioned to you. But they do all sorts of crafting there. So it's a two-day festival. Um, there's camping on site as well. Um, and they do, yeah, there's all sorts of crafts there. So there's pottery. I think there'll be crochet. There'll be stained glass, possibly. Um, yeah, er anything and everything. So um, I think I'm going to be going on a Saturday with my friend Steph. Fingers crossed it doesn't absolutely chuck it down. Because at the moment it's very black outside. It's been raining on and off all day. So I might have some things to show you from there because no doubt I'll make some purchases. Um, hopefully I won't buy any other crafts to get involved with. But who knows, this is me we're talking about. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'll try and do you maybe a bit of a video from there because that's something a little bit different. Um, I know obviously you come here mainly for the crochet. Um, but I throw in um, some bits into the mix every so often. Right, stopping waffling now. Uh, have a good Monday evening um, and have a good week um, and I'll see you all next time. As always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.